Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain episode number 35. I renamed a few of the Ajax class, but I actually have uh, two more I think we're going to start building. And I do have um, two names lined up so we can do this pretty quickly. Next one is going to be Thunderchild. This is from Predator. He put it as one word, but this is, as he said, a reference to the War of the Worlds um, ironclad, which tried to take down the ship, the, I mean the alien aliens and did not succeed but anyway uh, since it's in reference to that uh, it's supposed to be I think two words so I'm going to just respect the original reference which was two words like so and we'll get another one which even though this is gonna put us negative in monthly balance hopefully in nine months or so we'll be able to finish off the original Ajax we might even still be at war I kind of almost hope we are with the United States so we can uh, hopefully retaliate with some true some true british uh innovation this one is going to be the northumbria northumbria so hello to jacopo 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 uh well mangini is the easier part <laughs> i've never figured out how to say that first name jacopo uh okay anyway northumbria great name really liking this uh the naming scheme i mean lord sandwich is actually a lord and but uh that one's a little bit sillier i think okay so what we're doing right now we're very close to war with russia and, and germany we are just trying to push out a strategic victory as fast as possible um, we also want to start accelerating these when they get to 18 months it looks like 18 months is like the sweet spot um i'll do it okay yeah let's just wait one month on those and then i'll Go ahead and step them up as well we're gonna go to unrestricted i don't know if i already had that or not but for some reason it's on prize rules right now okay and good we've taken control of the u.s i mean of the philippines remnants of the defenders are unfortunately continuing their resistance and we are fighting valiantly in guantanamo bay that's good well two good things to start off with here um, we sank a few. Wow, we lost 12 submarines. We did sink 27 ships, though. That's good. It's quite good. Um, we struck a mine in Northern Europe. It's kind of strange that we would be <laughs> mined. They would have mines in Northern Europe, not us. We have mine sweepers there, for crying out loud. Um, a few raidings. Looks like they're more successful. We didn't have any light cruisers successfully raid. That's weird. But still, trade disruptions. Okay, cruiser action. We don't have any cruisers here, but I think, yeah, <laughs> I should have known that that was not going to go well because we don't have any cruisers there. Uh, that said, we since we cont uh, we actually succeeded in our invasion, even though it's continuing on, uh, I want to put some more pressure in the Caribbean so that we can hopefully not lose it. Um, this is at the risk of Russia going to war and starting to blockade us, but. It's a risk we're going to take, so we're going to move everyone into the Caribbean to try to force some kind of good engagement. Actually, you know what? It would not move. That it would not go well for us. I think. Okay, we'll just do it for one month. <laughs> how how bad could it be? Just one month, right? We'll probably end up losing, you know, the very the, two of the three remaining ships we have. Only the adamant cannot be involved since she's currently being repaired in east on the off the North American East Coast somewhere. Okay, that said, we do have a few uh, extra Glendor classes that we more than we need for foreign stations. So I want to get a few more. Let's do this one. Go to active fleet, the Jolly Roger. Uh, and I think that's all we can. Oh, we can even do one more. So let's move, um, let's put this one on foreign station and just so that things line up, let's get this one to go to active fleet and move over to Southeast Asia. Now I don't think that there's anybody else in, there's nothing else in Southeast Asia we can even take, correct? That is correct. So the next step might be, oh, let's move to the West Coast, okay. So now that we've fought there, I guess let's wait for the Philippines battle to be won. And we're in great shape. They don't have any ships there. Where are the Americans? Huh. It appears that most of their forces are all on the East Coast. Okay, so we should try to... We really should try to take advantage of that. Uh, let's even see if we can get... I'm going to move this guy to the West Coast. It'll take him a little while to get there. 
And as soon as we can, I'd love to move a few other ships. How many ships can we take off active? Another one. Okay, so you will also move to the west coast. And maybe we can start invading and taking some territory back there. Can I get away with this one? It says yes, but I'm starting to think that this is a bug or something. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I don't think we <laughs> should be allowed to... Well, I, I, I guess we'll just do it. If they're not going to complain, we'll keep moving ships over to the west coast. And probably next turn it'll say something about tonnage on foreign stations being in, in you know, unnecessary, or insi uh, incomplete? No, what's the word? What's the word? Insufficient. <laughs> That's the one I was going for. Okay, so we waited a month. Let's get these accelerated as well. I almost forgot. My goodness, almost forgot that. But that's perfect. So now we're getting the two-month jump. I think that's 17. You get only a one-month jump. So 18 is the sweet spot for accelerating. And I think that's true regardless of how long they are to start. So that's maybe some advice you guys can take into your games as well. Or maybe you already knew it. Um, and again, I think that obviously we're only, we're only going to last seven months at this rate, or even slightly less than that. But in eight months, we'll have the Ajax finished. So even if we have to pause somebody for one month, just to get one extra month out, we should be okay. Okay, here we go. Good. Okay. Okay, we damaged a Dreadnought, but it's... Oh my gosh, 38 to 7. Holy cow. My goodness. And they sank 3. I said mine. We'll keep hitting mines in Northern Europe. Okay, this is a destroyer, one of theirs, being sunk in Northern Europe. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, in turn, trade disruptions. Um, we will again accept this, and we actually have a, a battle cruiser out and about. No! Still no, huh? Hmm. Okay, well, we had this uh, King William II in the Caribbean, but is it time to call her home? I'm actually going to leave her. Even if we lose her, it's better to lose... This is weird, but it's better to lose her and keep our holdings than it is to move her back to safety and lose Guantanamo Bay. Um, I didn't show this yet, but we had done a lot of increasing of base size, base capacity, and we've done that for Guantanamo Bay too. So it's a size 8. We really don't want to lose this because Panama Canal, only a size of 10, really not that big. Uh, do we? I don't think we even want to spend the money. Really the best way of us getting our base capacity back would be to take back all the things we originally had. <laughs> so, And probably another thing we should do as soon as peace finds us once again is build some more forts, which should, I mean, according to the game notes, help against invasion as well. Okay, now we're looking at lack of foreign stations being only 2,000, so we just need one of these guys to switch back. Uh, what are you doing? This is really the frustrating thing about... What, they're all in the Caribbean? They're all moving to the Caribbean. Okay, we need, well, I mean, hey, I guess this one will now be um, foreign station and we'll have her move to the Indian Ocean. Actually, where do we want her to move? Is there, where are their American colonies? Really nowhere else. The only American colonies now are West Coast, Caribbean and East Coast. So we've done well. We've taken all the possessions from Southeast Asia, which is nice. But all we have to do now is start <laughs> reconquering some of our other possessions. I would actually like this one to go... Yeah, I would actually like it to go to the West Coast as well. So let's just send her over that way and see what happens. But she's on foreign stations, so the tonnage requirement won't be used against us. That's good. I just wish... I don't understand why she left. She wasn't on... That's. It's just a bug in the game, I think, somehow. Okay. Still have a ways to wait before those reach the 18th month mark. Okay, uh, one second. Okay, so I guess we're just going to end this turn. That's a bunch of, it's pretty tight on the budget, but 
with any luck. U.S. invasion of the Philippines has been defeated. Very good news. We're still fighting valiantly. And there it is. USA is suffering serious internal disturbances. They've been forced to accept a compromised peace. Okay, so what does that mean? Holy cow. What that means is we're like in serious trouble in terms of budget. But what that means is we got to keep the Guantanamo Bay. And we're going to improve this base, and we're going to build some fortifications here as well. I think... I'm just mainly looking at maintenance cost here, once they're built. I mean, I should be worrying about the monthly build cost as well, but... 10-inch guns are going to do well against everything except... Dreadnoughts and battle cruisers. I still kind of prefer six inch guns. Okay, let's just use let's use one of these and let's also build another six inch here as well. Okay. Two full coastal fortifications being constructed. Very good. Alright. Hopefully that'll help stave off invasions. And you know, honestly, we should probably protect Panama as well. Let's just get a six inch here. Okay. So we only have one month of budget left, which is bad. Very, very, very bad. So we're going to halt all three of these, unfortunately. And that will last us hopefully long enough to get the Ajax out. But victory, I mean, this was a victory, right? The only thing that happened in this battle, um, in this war, I should say, from what I can tell, is... Oh, they did take Newfoundland. So it was an exchange. We took the Philippines and they took Newfoundland. But that is still good news because that means if we go to war with them again, and we do intend to, we only have to focus on three places. Or maybe that's bad because they only have to focus on three places. But at least we'll have our strategic dreadnoughts out, and we'll also have our um, new battle cruiser line out. So we stand a chance to win uh, that war as well. Improved counter flooding equipment. Very good. Okay, just whiling away the terms now. Yeah, we'd, I'd love to take these guns. They have eight 15 inch guns, but kind of a strange configuration. Yeah, it honestly does not look that bad. Four inch deck is insane. This is one we might actually want to get close to. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, keep getting interrupted. <laughs> That's okay though. Um, two more months of budget left. One more month, a budget left. Are we even constructing any submarines? No. And how many do we have left? Because these were the heroes, the unsung heroes, 120. We know we have better reliability now. Probably we just get some more mine-laying submarines, but uh, not until those coastal fortifications finish, which should be, what, another... Oh, only two months left, I suppose that means. Six months for the 10-inch one, but that's fine. Uh, that'll help our budget situation a little bit. So two more months, can we make it? No, we'll have to pause somebody else. It looks like, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pause one of my accelerated ones, which I don't, <laughs> this is definitely not ideal. 13-inch uh, guns, quality one. I think we actually decline this because, well, I can't ever decline anything. The reason I'm not going to decline this is because it will increase our the chance that when we have a gun, I think, as far as my understanding of research, which nobody has ever disagreed with, so I'm assuming that that silence is consent, that I think what happens is you get a breakthrough in the category, and then it chooses randomly what breakthrough to get. Um, so this eliminates one of the 13-inch guns as a random choice we could get for whatever next improvement we get in gun quality. So let's go ahead and do that. I mean, even though we don't, nobody has 13-inch guns in our navy. It's not something we're going to start building. We're, we were actually at quality negative two until now, so that was a pretty significant increase. But now, obviously, we're going to have to. Darn it! That Ajax did not finish, and she should have, which would eliminate our budget issues. I might even lose a little prestige here, not to slow down the res the um, the ships. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. Ajax. Okay, Prestige suffers. 
Um, gotta say I'm a little confused. Okay, that didn't change until just during now. Now it's negative. That's something I understand a lot more. Um, we're gonna have to halt. It looks like the Lord sandwich. No, we need, yeah. So we need a positive balance and that's the only way we can do it. Okay, so halt you for the moment. There it is. Halt more. Okay. And now we're just fine to accelerate you once again. Perfect. Very strange. She actually lost a month in that. She was at nine, I think. Now she's at 10. So that's really frustrating when you lose a month. Ugh, very frustrating. So she must have had delays or something. Yeah, problems in delivery equipment. <sighs> Darn it. I mean, that's it's very soon. That cost us 6.3 million uh, pounds, I guess this would be in. So that's, <laughs> that's a huge amount. Ugh, very unlucky, but that's fine. Okay, uh, selling, oh, this is huge. That's, we've been waiting for that for a long, 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 long time. And we got better 15 inch guns as well. We haven't been tempted to use 15 inch guns. So that's not really the one we were looking for. We were looking for quality one 16 inch, something like that. Uh, these horn blower classes, have they finally, these are the uh, few remaining elite. So I think I will actually redesign them. Yeah, I guess I will just do something really simple with them. I think we just save as is. Oh, we can actually get improved director on. How expensive is it to do this? It does increase the cost from 300,000 to 670,000. Okay, I think the important thing is not to do this, but to do this. So we're gonna not use the best buyer control, but for free, for free, no increase. We're gonna put director on our 16 inch guns. Oh, which I actually would prefer really. Ugh, that's too much. So, okay, what we're gonna do is these are old and we're not gonna worry about it too much. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. We're going to just leave them with director and increased elevation and hope that this is good enough. Yeah, 25, 26,000, so th this is pretty good for their guns. And they're not supposed to be in battle anyways. We don't want it. We don't want this to be any larger than it needs to be. So we're gonna minimize all the potential costs. We could actually bulge them as well, which will take their speed down, but give them, you know, for a displacement of 16,000, I don't think it's worth it. If they just take a hit, we'll have to be okay with that. So we're okay with that. It's a, obviously, I mean, fire control is just so useful, but that's really more expensive than I was expecting. And this is probably gonna, yeah, exactly do some do something to our um, foreign stations stuff but we can just quickly navigate through that by adding two more glindors back to foreign stations and voila we're done with that nice we don't have to manage anything else I like our distribution two in Southeast Asia two on the West Coast seems perfect to me um, we have these guys kind of all over the place I think where would we rather be? Probably let's get them just to Northern Europe. And that may also require more Glinder classes to be away, but considering their speed is really low, I'm expecting their maintenance is really low, like per ton. Uh, let's just find out, we can do it this way. So these guys are all away from Northern Europe, 250, and they are half, yeah, so they're less than half the maintenance of this, even though this is half, about half the tonnage. So that means that price per um, ton, Maintenance per ton is better for our Glinder classes, which means they're better for foreign stations because the maintenance cost is less when you're in Northern Europe, so we'll get those both back. Even though that will definitely require more Glinder classes to be going on foreign station. But that's fine, we're gonna do, actually this one. Uh, I'm kind of curious about the math of this. Let's just go ahead and do this on camera. So right now we have uh, 24 divided by 422, which means that it has, just to make this a little more sensible, 56 pounds per ton. Uh, 56, no, this is tons per unit of maintenance. Does that make sense? No, it should be one ton uh, is 56 per maintenance, yeah. So 
no, it's it's this is the higher this number is, the better. Yes, <laughs> we're taking tons. Let's just do this again. All right, this is really embarrassing, but <laughs> twenty-four thousand tons. So this is tons per cost. Uh huh, and it should be divided by another thousand, really, because it's twenty-four thousand. So this makes sense. I th it, before it didn't make sense because I thought I was thinking the other way around. But the, so basically, this is zero point five or zero point five six tons per dollar, basically, or per pound. So zero point five six. Let's just save this, and now let's look at two five three. Oops. Got to do it the other way. 14 divided by 253. This is 0 0.55. So we can do memory minus, which means we subtract it from the memory cost and we see the difference. Okay, so it's 0 0.001. So anyways, the Renown is actually more efficient. That's bizarre. So the maintenance of this thing, despite it being 17, for whatever reason, is actually higher per ton. Maybe it's because of the guns. Yeah, I think I was discussing this with Lightning Dragon, that uh, guns actually do add to the maintenance, and the guns on this are just much more um, impressive per ton. So we will leave you uh, in the Caribbean, because you are actually better on foreign stations uh, than we expected. So we'll leave her there. Okay, Ajax has finished working up. Interested in buying? Yeah, by all means. Savings on whole. All those savings, all the whole savings are most important, I think, on um, your battle cruiser. But that's okay. Diplomatic note. We need tensions up to save our budget a bit. And hopefully we can start bringing these back in. No, not really. We'll have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, no, don't continue quite yet. This is what I, I thought this might happen. So we'll get both of these to foreign stations. We only need one of them. Okay. Foreign stations. There you go. Okay, Guantanamo Bay. Yes. I don't even know what force circulation is. Force circulation. Is this torpedoes? I mean, uh, submarines? No, uh, I see. Force circulation is machinery. That's pretty important. And we got one on ship design. I think it's really... The game is really trying to tell us something, right? It's time to design our endgame battleship. If we were to do that hypothetically, what would it look like? I don't know why they did that. Oh, that's what I'm waiting for, actually, is quadruple turrets, which I don't think we have access to. We do. We have quadruple turrets. Do we have... Okay, this is important. I need to go to research. Do we have improved... No. We have improved triple turrets, but not improved quadruple turrets, which means that triple turrets are the best we can really get right now without suffering the, you know, penalties. So we can do this. I think we just do... We just take the hit for the superimposed um, triple, very expensive triple turrets. I mean, we can get 18... We can get whatever we want on them. I, like the 14 inch quality one is so nice. Probably we gotta go with 16 inch guns. Um, 12, 16 inch guns is pretty good. I guess I could go 17. And these should be in double turrets. Conservative weight. Yeah, we want torpedo technology four. Just give me everything. How much does this save? Four hundred, then a ton, like literally a ton. Two hundred, three hundred. So nineteen is kind of the sweet spot for this. I think I'm okay with that. Turrets, I'm not okay with at all. We can definitely. Well, let's put this at twenty-one. Kind of fiddle around with it. I don't. I'm not going to go for that speed in the end. I think. Let's go for 11, 3.5, um, 
14, no, 14 is fine. Let's go for 14 here as well. Four, go down to two. Yeah, I like this. Improved director, good secondary guns. Um, maybe these guys don't actually need torpedoes. They don't, I'm going to say. Because the flooding, I, I don't like the, the flooding that can result. Let's get 16 because this is weird. It shows six and a half <laughs> double turrets. I don't. I really don't like that. So let's actually just get a solid four. Uh, I mean, this is three and a half double turrets per side, and now we can get just four double per turrets per side, which I think is much more sensible. Um, that extra 300 tons for that superimposed, that is brutal. Let's bring this down now. Oh yeah, that is significant. That is pretty significant. Um, probably we get our weight savings by going to oil. Um. Okay, wow, it worked. I don't think 100 rounds per gun is ideal. We would definitely want more than that. Let's go up to 43 then and just do it. What else do we want to improve since we already did this? <clears throat> How much would it be for belt? 11.5, deck, way too much. Uh, let's not worry about that. Turrets are 14, it seems like it's okay. How much is it to go to 15? Okay, let's see the, the cost here. 145 versus... one four eight. I'm okay with that. The improvement to turrets I think is really important. And I'd even go one more. In fact, I can probably do this and that, which is nice. So our turrets are going to be very, very, very well protected, which is fantastic. Not our secondaries, but that's a fine. I'm okay with that. I mean, I've, we've practically built this thing. Oh, here we go. Slope deck. I'm sure people were screaming at me. I don't know why it doesn't default to the best choice, but this is going to save us 13, 670, or 650 at least, tons. That's pretty significant. Um, which means I guess we can take this down, put this up. My 43,000 I feel like is a good sweet spot. We're down below 145 just because of all or nothing armor. I'm pretty happy with this. I, d I don't even know where we can gain, like where we would want to increase anything. Should I just go down by a small amount? It only saves 200,000 tons. I'm, I, I might be just okay with this. Um, let's just see what kind of, okay, it's 700 and, well, 800 tons to go to that. We only save 220 tons to get 19. So I think 19 is just fine, but we're not gonna be able to squeeze more than that out of her. So I'm gonna, I'm going to save this as the Collingwood, and the reason I'm going to, well, let's save it as um, Prototype, because I haven't done this yet. I'm going to save it as Prototype because that's not the name I'm going to choose, so I can reload this later. So don't go to Build Dialog. I'm just going to keep it in the back of our minds. I'm waiting because it would be great if I could get quadruple guns, both forward and aft. Then we're looking at two extra guns. Wow, that is a lot of extra space we're going to have to make up. Well, what if we do this? Yeah, that does save extra space. If quadruple guns end up firing just as fast, um, this is a better line lineup. But if we don't, I mean, I'm not going to save this as the prototype. The prototype is still with triple turrets, but... It's something to think about. Obviously, we don't have the money to do it yet anyway. So this is probably the last of the battle cruisers, which means, I mean, I have my list up here. I was really hoping to get out, let's see, who do we have here? The Hood. <laughs> so Raymond asked for the Hood. He was like the next one. Unfortunately, not going to happen. Um, we had Bobble the Clown uh, from SCP-993. And I guess that's some kind of joke. 
Uh, we had uh, the Adalbert Nam. Might have been cut off there. The Emperor Karl Franz, which was asking for a Dreadnought possibly as well. So anyway, that that's Vasilis. He might actually still get his in as a Dreadnought on the, the new class. So anyways, uh, no, no Enterprise for Luke Smolders either. Sorry, Luke. <laughs> okay, but that's fine. Um, let's continue going then. Actually, how are we doing? That's perfect. Oh, yes, absolutely. Send a force. Ah, uh, darn it. So we lose prestige, we gain one unrest, but I think it was worth it for trying to take Colombia. And that was... Oh, Venezuela, yeah. Sorry, I should say Ven Venezuela. Nobody else is modeled in South America. But that's okay. It was worth a try, I would say. Um, yeah, we need that technology. So that's 1% saving on armor. That's even better. Our... Uh, what is the last class going to be named, by the way? That is going to be, I think, the Victoria class, which is perfect. Nice name for it, thanks to Uvox, providing us some good names. So our funds actually dropped, even though our monthly balance is higher. I don't understand the mechanic there. Okay, increased spending. Uh, good tensions with the United States, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, how are we doing, by the way? Do we need all these ships on foreign stations? We don't. So that's because these guys are returning, I think. They're actually better off in the Northern Europe. The Glyn... No, wait, they are not. 234 versus 2... I think these are still more efficient. So let's get these two into the Mediterranean as we did before. And you, I guess, will move to... Southeast Asia, which is no longer really a threatened location. So, um, good. I think we've gone on for actually quite a long time in this episode, but that's fine because it's been a little while since I recorded. So we need to get the fortunes and the Ajax should stay in Northern Europe, but our Glinder classes should not be here. Okay, she's still warming up, so we'll give her a little bit more time. Uh, let's move you over to west coast good we want to be ready for the americans if they if we end up going to war with them again and it does look likely and we'll be ready this time oh speaking of which we should probably start building we have a huge oh my gosh well let's redo this um let's just clear and redo it from scratch because we did get some armor savings and i just want to really make sure that those are in there <laughs> we're gonna go up to 43 right away might even be able to get it done for 42. I forget what these were at. This was at 14, I think. Four, two, all or nothing. Might as well get maximum torpedo defense. Um, so delete this one, increase the guns here, and go triple for F center line superimposed. Looking good. Firing arcs, all good up to that, get a sensible number of turrets per side. Uh, we don't want any tertiaries. Wow, I don't know if that was activated last time. Let's clear torpedo mounts as well. The only time I don't do it is in the very, very late games. These guns are just going to be more powerful than torpedoes by themselves, especially with everyone carrying around torpedo protection. Um, these are definitely much more valuable, the guns I'm saying, than... Uh, okay, we can't quite squeeze 42,000, but they're much more valuable than the torpedoes themselves, and hey, more accurate, right? So is that because our belt was down to 10.5? I don't remember. Oh, that's this right here. Wow, fantastic. We could actually get 11.5 for our belt, but I wanted 15 for the turrets, I think. We could do this like so. 105, 19, 11, 3, 5, 14, 15, 4, 2, um, we have room for the improved director, I mean advanced director as well. Director, increased elevation. Let's just check this off. All okay. I mean, it seems like it is the time. We do have a monthly balance of 11 and a half million. This is only going to take, this is actually going to be cheaper than our battle cruiser. What do you know? 
So let's just do it. Victoria class Dreadnought. Ah, just something holding me back. Something telling me that we can wait just a little bit longer. Also, this oval seems to be in the wrong spot. Okay, good. And, you know, it's just a little bit ugly. Yeah, let's do something else. Like have uh, this as, this is elevated probably. What would it include this part? And then probably here it stops, I guess. Kind of interesting. No, I don't think that's, it uh, should be a line if I wanted to do that. Like uh, this is like the shielding or something, the, the raised, ele the elevated shielding. And then cut in. Something like that. I'm just trying to imagine what kind of ship we're making right here. <laughs> Don't know if I've convinced myself that that's what it would look like. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty ugly. Really should just give these designs to other people and let them do it appropriately. Oh, actually, the I guess the elevation would start here with the second gun. But in order to do that, we'll have to go from the back. Like so, I think. Let's see if this works any better. No, I had it, I had it. I think it was gonna be okay. Really, really engrossing stuff, right? Watching these lines go down. Okay, in the future I will definitely pause and just do this off camera, but we're committed. Yeah, that's kind of what I was imagining would happen. Would this be like an elevated portion? Uh, it definitely should have continued as far back as this area, but okay, well, anyways, I'm sorry that I, I don't even like this still. I might fool around with it a bit more off camera. I might not, but this is the Victoria. I'm actually going to do something which I should do more often. I'm going to save it here, but I'm not going to build it yet. And I'm going to call this video to a close. So let me know what your thoughts are on this and maybe we'll make some adjustments based on your recommendations. So until then, thanks for watching this episode and until the next one, take care.